Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in the session we are going to discuss artificial intelligence game playing. Along with the introduction to game playing, I will definitely share with you its benefits as well as some algorithms that will definitely help you get a clear idea about how game playing works in AI. So this is our lecture number 29 that is very important. So students as we all know, Artificial intelligence has transformed the way we approach games not just as a form of entertainment but also as a platform for innovation and research, right? So AI is a fascinating and widely studied area where algorithms and systems are designed to play and accelerate games. Also, we can say from mastering classic board games like chess, tic-tac-toe, go game, to excel in complex video games, AI's prowess in games playing has become a fascinating field of study, right? So in this session, I will introduce game playing in AI and also explores the benefits it offers to students and the broader society. So now let's just start the discussion. So at first students, you should note that what is game playing in AI? Before moving to the key concepts, I will definitely share with you what is the game playing in AI. So basically, game playing in AI involves designing the systems. It involves the designing the systems that can play games intelligently, often completing with or suppressing human abilities means with or without human activities or human abilities. Games provide an excellent testing grounds for AI techniques just because they combine elements of strategies, decision making and problem solving in controlled environment. That is very important point. Alright. So I am repeating the statement. Ki AI techniques are used here just because they combine the elements of the strategy, the decision making, optimization and problem solving in any controlled environment. AI game playing systems rely on some algorithms that I have told you earlier. I am repeating the statement ki AI game playing systems rely on some algorithms like first can be your search algorithm. Another can be machine learning and another can be heuristics. Alright, here search algorithm helps to explore possible moves and outcomes. Machine learning helps to learn strategies through data and experiences. Heuristics helps to make decision efficiently in complex scenarios. Alright. Now one question definitely I would like to discuss with you that why use games on games to study AI. Okay, so the first reason for this is your clear rules. This is very important for all AI students. Games typically have well-defined rules making them easier to model and analyze. That's why every student must study AI games. Another reason can be measurable success. Winning or achieving a high score provides a straightforward metric for evaluating AI performance. Another is challenge of complexity. challenge of complexity. So games like chess, starcraft, it involves millions of possible moves, right? So pushing AI to innovate here, that's why we can, uh, we must use rules for, uh, rules of AI in our study. Next can be your adaptation. Now we have some key concepts. Okay, so first key concept is the search algorithms. As I have told you earlier, 
AI uses search trees to explore possible moves and their outcomes. For example, min-max search, alpha beta pruning, these two algorithms examples are very very important we will discuss this in detail in some next video so other than this we have monte carlo tree structure that is mcts another key concept can be your machine learning so ai can learn strategies from data or self play its techniques can be uh, supervised learning reinforcement learning etc another key concept is the heuristic concept so in complex games, exact solutions are invisible. So heuristics simplify decision making by focusing on promising moves, on best moves we can say. Adaptation means AI systems adapt to rules, strategies or styles of opponents learning dynamically. So all these are very, very important points. Other than this, I will share with you some techniques in artificial intelligence game playing so first first technique is tree search okay so for tree search we have two algorithms first is min max algorithm or another is alpha beta pruning algorithm second technique is the monte carlo tree search it is used in games with large search spaces and combines random sampling with statistical analysis third is deep reinforcement learning that is drl it combines deep learning and reinforcement learning to handle complex state action spaces it is generally used in mastering chess go and shogi if you want to learn them from scratch next is imitation learning so ai learns by observing expert gameplay and mimicking the strategies that is the imitation learning other than this we can also use game algorithms in other applications like robotics for real time decision making and strategic planning another application beyond game is your healthcare optimize for optimization of treatment and strategies next can be finance predictive modeling and decision making another is your operation research It is for solving logistics and scheduling the problems. All right, everyone. So these are the uh, techniques and these are the applications where we can use AI other than games. All right. So I hope everything is clear till now. If students, you have any doubt, you can definitely comment below. I will surely help you.